What's up guys? It's like 40 degrees right now and the snow is starting to completely melt. Good thing we got a lot of it though. So what I'm gonna try to do is go out riding before everything melts and before the trails just get completely just all muddy and a muddy mess. I'm gonna gas up the sled. I actually bought the brought the GoPro this time. So the GoPro, I'll have the GoPro right here. I'll be talking as we go. I'm gonna try to go like 50 miles or so. Uh, through these little towns on the trail, but it is gonna be a wet mess, dude. Right now it's 40 degrees. It's gonna get to like 48 degrees tonight. Tomorrow's supposed to be 50 degrees. Then next weekend we're supposed to get hammered with like five to eight inches is what I'm saying now, but it's a week away, so it'll probably be like one inch. But I'm excited for it. I don't know, I just, you, know, you guys know I bought new sun stuff. So the thing is, is I gotta get this, I gotta get more oil in it and I gotta check some uh, coolant level and stuff like that. Gas, and we're ready to go. I don't know what to wear though. It's weird because it's like, oh man, that's cold water though. It's like, it's starting to melt all over the place, but the ditches are completely full. So the ditches will be fun and soft. It's only me. It's only me riding today and that's kind of dangerous too. I brought the GoPro somewhere in here. So I'm gonna put the GoPro on my helmet. I got this little North Face jacket, which is supposed to be waterproof, so it should help. That's what I'll wear probably. And then, yeah, I gotta put the GoPro on though. I rode last weekend the exact same route and we went for a ways, it was super fun. I could have tripled the amount of distance we went. Like I was like ready to ride like 150 miles that day. Uh, so hopefully this week the snow's, snow's gonna be soft. So that, that'll be nice though. But here's the Articat. Literally hasn't even melted off since last time we rode it. Oh shoot, Whew. She's gotta, she's gotta break loose a little bit. Oh man, you can see. Still some ice to her. Oh yeah. We'll see how she starts. Oh. So I'm gonna toss the GoPro on. We're gonna get going. I'll come back to this camera after I see how the ride was. It's 1,074 miles on her right now. We'll see how many I put on her day. I bought her with less than 1,000 miles. It'll be fun. I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro. Yo, Brad, is the GoPro blinking? Yeah, man. You're good, it's blinking. Thanks, Brad, dog, appreciate it. You will see a... Uh... Uh, low oil light, it, it'll start blinking. It's just because the sensor's off. Trust me, there's always oil in there. I need to get that fixed though. Here we go. Adventure starts, truck lock. I apologize for this guys i had mic issues so it was actually recording the mic from the gopro not the mic i purposely had set up inside my helmet to talk to you guys from so that's why there's like crazy amount of wind noise so i only captured about five percent of the trip it shut off and i didn't capture the part when i was doing 150 mile an hour down the trail uh worry of overheating you know, though 
that's one thing you gotta watch for. Just some GoPro batteries, and it's gonna be ditches all the way back, man. Ditches, ditches, ditches. It always does that. It's from some type of compression. There's fuel left over or something like that. And there's a the lady racing Luckily I caught this part, but I hear this Jeep honking. So then I see it and I'm I'm at like real coasting at 10 mile an hour across the driveway and then I see it go and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna try to catch this Jeep. So I made it back and everything is just melting like crazy, dude. It's kind of sad to see, but next week we're supposed to, I, I checked at the gas station actually when I was there and Huxley, the place I was riding pretty much, we're supposed to get five to eight inches of the snow next Thursday, but that, that's like five days out. So it'll probably change and stuff. Maybe we'll get more, maybe we'll get less. Usually we always get less. We put 70, no, 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 no. We started at 1,074 miles. <laughs> So now we're at 1,138 miles. So we put what's 25 around. And so we put 65 miles on today. And when it's like 40, 45 degrees out, like I say, I could, dude, I could go. I could go like 150 miles. Be tough on my legs and stuff. But it'd be, it'd be fun. I'd love to do it sometime. It's nice because you have a snowmobile. I, I sound like a spoiled little brat right now. But it's nice because you have a snowmobile and you have a dirt bike. And so you're like, oh, shoot. If you, if you, didn't, have a, if you didn't have a dirt bike and stuff, you'd be like, oh, shoot, the snow's melting. You can't ride my snowmobile. But then at the bright side, when the snow's melting, that means you can now ride your dirt bike. When it starts snowing and gets cold, you can ride your snowmobile. See, that's all you need. Dirt bike, snowmobile, you're in. Well, what's kind of interesting is YouTube provides income, right, and stuff. And so when I go out and buy a snowmobile or a dirt bike, it's a cost for my business. That means it's a tax write-off. It literally is a tax write-off surprisingly when i go out and have fun it's tax write-off it's pretty crazy i always tell people do youtube dude it's fun uh there's a lot of cool things that go on with it so but anyways guys hopefully you enjoyed the video thanks for watching it thanks for liking it thanks for leaving your comment and stuff i'll see you guys later thanks guys